Ez a Quran. On the night of Kadir is the night that the Quran is comes down from Lafu Mahfuz. Then from there, even to the Prophet and according to the needs and the wants of his Ummah at that time, and also of course at this time, but the Quran is found every time, and then it is sent according to the ayats to the different situations. It's referring to that. And it is also known as a month of the Quran, reading of the Quran. So, traditionally, as we learn from Shaf and Deen, from the Awliya Allah saying that Laylatul Qadir is hidden in the month of Ramadan. It is heavy in the last 10 days. And it's heavy in the last 10 days, that is odd, odd days. And heavily it is on the 27th night. It may change. It may be earlier, it may be late, later, it may. They're just saying it is heavy. It is hidden there so that everyone <coughs> will now start looking for it. And the blessings that come from people who look for it, according to their intention, then they may reach, they may reach to the blessings of Layla to Kadu. The Holy Prophet he was telling his Sahabi Kiram how it was during the time of the uh, Bani Israel that so many of them they would be worshipping their whole lives without even stopping for one day for one moment continuous worship, their whole lives. And in those days, people are living for hundreds of years. This body is also designed for hundreds of years. If you abuse this body, then it can only last. The Prophet is saying, in this time, this short time, but it's designed to last for a long time. So when the Sahabi Kiram heard that, that there were people in the other uh, nations, the nation of the Bani Israel, that they spent their whole lives worshipping without pausing, without stopping. Then they got very sad. And they say, because we don't have that opportunity. We don't live for hundreds of years, and our lifespan is only 50, 63, because the Prophet lays that for some past uh, that age. So, to make his Habib happy, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala then gave one night, one night in the month of Ramazan that is better than 1,000 months, 1,000 months. And 1,000 months when you calculate here and there, it's about 83 years. So in that one night, <coughs> Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is given to this ummah specifically, if you spend that one night in worship, it is as if you worship continuously without pausing, without stopping for over 80 years, for one we have to come. Imagine if you fast 10 years, 20 years, all your life since you were a kid and you're watching for this kind of night, how much more blessings you're getting. So there's a very special time, the Qadr time, because the angels, they are coming, Jibra'il salam will come with the thousands of angels, they're going to come and they're going to circle around everywhere looking to see the sincere servants of Allah and they will personally give salams to you. And giving salams to you. You are in zikr, you are in worship. The angels are finding you to give salams to you. Those who are awake, they may feel it. There are certain signs. The angels giving salams to you as there are certain signs physically in the sky. One is Layla Fukadir. That split second there, everything in creation falls down to sujud. 
to sajda. Everything in creation falls to sajda to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. If you catch that, then you're going to understand how this world, it is Jahannam. And your heart will turn away, be tasteless. You live in this world, you do things, but it's, it's not going to be excited about this world anymore. You're going to be very excited about that next world because you're already witnessing the world. <coughs> and there are signs also in the morning time how the sun is rising and it is later to come. Watch out. The Ottomans, they are saying, don't wait for one night in Ramazan to find Layla to Qadir. Treat every night like it is Layla to Qadir. Treat every night. Treat every night like it is holy. Because even the alims, the ulamas, and the earlier sometimes they are saying, which one is more holy now? Layla to Qadir or the night of Juma? Because the Juma night, <coughs> Thursday night, it is more holy than the two Eids combined. So many hadiths about the specialness of Juma. Not too many about Layla to Qadir. But Layla to Qadir is when all that power of the Quran is it is coming down. The night of power too, the power is coming down. But the Juma night, that everyone is looking to see, ah, it's another night. So what? The Juma night, that the tariqats are keeping very high. They are welcoming the Juma night now with zikir. They are listening to Sohbah. They are doing a couple of things, praying, what we say, Maghrib and Isha together, and praying Fajr time together. That is the Sultan of the days. That it is the day that so many events in history, it is happened on a Friday. That so many events in the Ayur Zaman is going to happen on a Friday. That Prophet is saying, if you pray Isha in Jamaat, you get the reward as if you pray behind Hazrat al Bakr Siddiq. And if you pray in Jamaat Fajr, you get the reward as if you are praying in the Jamaat behind the Holy Prophet. So, it is a very special, very holy night too. And the Ottomans, the Turks, they are saying, treat every night like it is Laylatul Qadr. Because Allah is descending every night. In the last third of the night, every night, for this nation, not for earlier nations, for this nation. Allah is descending. And Allah is saying, I am here for you. Ah, women, you want to look pretty? No need to put paint here, paint there, there's a... Wake up for the Hajj. Pray to urge your time because that is the time when the lights is raining. The angels they are coming. You're awake and you're worshipping the angels, they fix everything. You become very beautiful. You become a face that people they want to see. It's for men too, of course. Any believer that is no need to put nothing. So it's necessary for us to know these things. Treat every night like it is Layla to Qadir. They say treat every person that you meet as if it is Hizir The one who can grant you any wish that you want. Hizir <coughs> What is it that we want? So many people, they destroy themselves because they don't know what. They work so hard, when the time comes, okay. What do you want? You work so hard. Uh, I want Kangal Sujuk. You know that story of the Kangal Sujuk? Once upon a time, these two old people, one man, one woman, they're married for years. Every night after the dinner, they would sit, they would drink some tea. Uh, and they will speak to each other, old people. They have time to speak. These days, they do, nobody has time to speak because you're busy with that phone, from young to old. And forbidding anyone to use that phone here in the Dergah from now on. 
You have to use it out. Because it's taking away so much light from you. So they're sitting down. <laughs> it's okay. Recording, being in pictures, I understand. I know. So they're sitting down. They said, oh, husband, she say, how I wish. Say what? How I wish that I have one Kangal Sujuk. You know Kangal Sujuk? You know the Sujuk? The sausage. You know? Turkish sausage? That's how I wish. And the other one says, yeah, how I wish for that too. Correct? They're going every day. Oh, I wish that. I know what I'm going to ask, he says. So, 10 years, 20 years, that's all they talk about. They say, how I wish I'm going to get this. If Israel is going to come, how I wish I'm going to ask for this. I'm going to ask, what are you going to ask? I'm going to ask for one link of sausage. Say, really? Yes, I'm going to ask that. I haven't eaten that for a long time. That's all they talk about year after year. One day, when they were sitting down, whoop, Israel is and saying, what is it that you wish for? The woman says, Oh, I wish for one Kangal Sujuk, she's saying. And the man just slapped his head and said, You idiot, you can wish for anything that you want. And you're asking for that one Sujuk. I wish the Sujuk is stuck to your nose. Whoop, the Sujuk is stuck to your nose then, forever. Isaiah Hassan looked at both of them and said, This is what you're preparing. This is what you're preparing. You say, If you're going to meet me all these years, you're saying, you're going to, This is what you're going to ask. Salam alaikum, and he's gone. Israel alayhi salam, in reality, he appears to a believer. So the earlier they're saying, once in every 40 days, he appears to a believer. Whatever that is in your heart, he's going to grant you. Because that time, only whatever that is in your heart, you're going to say. You cannot pretend anymore. Like it is during Judgment Day, you cannot lie, you cannot hide. Whatever that is there, is going to come out. So we have to know, what are we going to ask? Asking for this world is like asking for straw. Asking for ahirat is like asking for the wheat. The wheat, it comes with the straw too. Don't worry. So these are very heavy days and nights. Make sure that we ask for something better than Kangal Suju. Ask for the ahirat. The dunya comes, inshallah. Allah forgive you, inshallah. Assalamu alaikum.